Hey guys, welcome to the March pickups video. To start off once again, I just want to tell you, I am still working on Mega Man on PC Part 3. And I promise it won't be another 9 months in between the videos as it was between Part 1 and 2. That video should be done before this month is over. Before the next pickups video, I promise. I can't really tell you a specific date because I don't work very well with deadlines, so... But I will say, before the end of this month, I'm filming this pickups video a little bit later than I usually do because it's been quite hectic the last few days. Hey, but it has allowed me to game hunt a little bit the last few days too, so... The last five days or so I picked up stuff, which doesn't really happen too often, so... But you'll just have to wait until next month's pickups video to find out what I got. So on April 4th, I went out game hunting, went to some flea markets and stuff, and I found absolutely nothing. Then I decided to go to like a weekly flea market that never had anything whenever I'd been there, so I was desperate I guess. But I actually had a few games. I picked up South Park, Chef's Love Shack, the EA Classics version of Doom, and on the PS2, Casper Spirit Dimensions. I pretty much only just picked up these games because I haven't found anything all day. I ended up paying 3 bucks for all free, so a buck a piece. I'm thirsty. <sighs> One thing that is going to be apparent in this video is that flea market season has started around here. And I'm gonna go to all of them. So on April 6th I went to a big haul flea market. The first vendor I bought something from, I bought two PS2 games. Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Loud, I, I guess. And Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel. Paid about 150 for each of them. At the second vendor, once again, a Game Boy lot. A grey Game Boy Advance SP. With its charger of course. And this lovely pink tin can. Full of games. All of the games were pretty much Game Boy Dance titles, but there were two Game Boy Color games. Tom and Jerry and Mouse Attacks, and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. With its label all fucked up here. And now for the Game Boy Dance games. In no particular order, I might add. Care Bears, Care Crest, Bratz, the movie. Hugo Bugazoom, once again, a Danish children's game, which I cannot be bothered to try to pronounce for you right now, Brother Bear, Ratatouille, Lilo and Stitch, Lilo and Stitch 2, Surfs Up, The Barbie Diaries, High School Mystery, Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbeat, NES Classics Pac-Man, Waka Waka, the Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning, Super Mario Advance 4, which is Super Mario Bros. 3 on the NES, and then the two games that are probably the best in this lot, Magical Quest starring Mickey and Minnie, and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And for that I paid about 15 bucks. At the next vendor I bought a game that went a bit over my 2 bucks a game policy, but I had to have it. Crash Bandicoot. And it's complete and everything. It even has the demo disc. I paid about four and a half dollars for it, so it's actually a pretty good deal still. Got confused there for a minute. And at the next vendor I bought three PS2 games for about one and a half bucks each. Beyond Good and Evil, Hurdy Gurdy, and Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, which fits perfectly with the board game I bought last month. And at the last vendor I bought two big box PC games for one and a half bucks each. The PC Best Buy release of Trader's Gate and the Classics Collection version of Myst. It doesn't have its manual but I wanted the box. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to tell you guys. From now on I will not tell you if what I have is complete in box. If I don't say anything, then it is. If I say, oh I got a game. Missing its manual though. Then it's not complete in box. Duh. Unless of course if it's cartridge based games. Then you can see it's not complete. On April 9th I went to the local junkyard shop and I only picked up one thing. It's a PC game and it's 
Carmageddon TDR 2000. I only bought this because the entire Carmageddon series is a big part of my childhood, so it's pretty nice to have this back in my collection. And I paid about 75 cents for it, so it's alright. And later on the 9th I received a package, something I won on an online auction. The Technigraph TV Sport Mark 1, which is a pawn console. I really love these old pawn consoles, so I had to pay the $19 for it, because I wanted it. And then on the 11th I went to more flea markets, and I didn't really find much all day. At the first flea market I bought 4 PS2 games for about 75 cents each. The first one, 18 wheeler American Pro Trucker. Platinum version of Star Wars Battlefront 2, Need for Speed Underground 2, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. After that I went to a bunch of other flea markets, didn't find anything at all. But on the way home I went to one of those junkyard shops and I picked up 5 games. One and a half dollars each. Mafia on the PS2, The Sims 2 on the Xbox, Medal of Honor Rising Sun also on the Xbox, Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood also on the Xbox, and Delta Force Black Hawk Down on the Xbox. On the way home I also went into a fridge store and I bought these two Mario plushies. The Fire Flower one and the regular one. Woohoo! Paid 30 cents each. Had to bring him home. Still thirsty. <sighs> then the next day on April 12th I went to even more flea markets. And I didn't really find anything until the last two places I went. The first of those places were yet another one of those junkyard shops, where I picked up The Amazing Spider-Man on PS3, and the Platinum version of Assassin's Creed, also on PS3. And I paid about one and a half dollars for each of them, so it's alright. And then after that, I went to what you could call like a garage sale, I guess. And this one dude had some games. So I pretty much just bought all of it. So for about $15 I got Transformers Revenge of the Falling on the Xbox 360. Destroy All Humans Path of Furon, if that's how that's pronounced, on the Xbox 360. And the last Xbox 360 game, Assassin's Creed 2 Special Film Edition. And it has the DVD and everything, so it's pretty cool. And some PS3 games, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, FIFA 14. Ultimate Edition, Kingdoms of Alamor, Reckoning, The Lord of the Rings, War in the North, Vampire Reign Altered Species, and Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Ah, my bag is hurting. <sighs> then on April 15th, I went game hunting again. Might as well not have, I didn't find anything at all, really. I bought a few little things. So, at a first store I bought some cartridge based LCD game with extra cartridges. There's Judo, Basketball, Tennis and Alien. Haven't even tested it out yet. And at another junkyard shop I picked up a manual for a PC game. F16 Aggressor, which I paid about 30 cents for. The LCD games I paid about 75 cents for. On April 19th it was time for another big haul flea market and it started out pretty good. It was a vendor I bought something from before. I actually bought over 100 games from that person so. Her husband is a collector of old computer stuff so anything from Commodore to old PC stuff and stuff like that. And if you got any extras she brings them to the flea market. And this is probably one of the best pickups of the month. For about 9 bucks I got Shareware version of Monster Bash on the PC, Shareware version of Doom on the PC, and Shareware version of Wolfenstein 3D on PC. All on floppy disks. Also on the PC, Center Court Tennis in this little weird sleeve. Euro Power Pack released a lot of stuff like this back in the day here in Europe. They also released this. A big box version of The Simpsons, Bart vs. The Space Mutants, also floppy disks. Yay! And then this big ass box, which is the CD-ROM Interactive Collection 2, which includes applications, games, and other stuff. The games in here are Power Drive, Manchester United the Double, Heimdall 2, Chess Challenge, The Horde, Terminal Velocity, The Journeyman Project Turbo, Screenball, and Street Fighter 2. Which is pretty fucking awesome if you ask me. As you know I love big box PC games. 
it doesn't get much bigger than this. Oh, and if you feel like it, you can have a World Cup 1930 to 1994 soccer encyclopedia. Yeah. At the next event, I picked up only one game, Soul Reaver 2 on the PlayStation 2. I paid a little bit over two dollars for it. As I said before, I'm trying to collect all the Legacy of Kane games, so this is awesome, I only need one of them now. And at the next vendor, I bought a loose copy of Pokemon Platinum on the DS. Can you see that? Let's hope that Alpha Focus works. At the next vendor, I bought three PS3 games for about four bucks each, and I don't really know why I did that, but I did. Bulletstorm Limited Edition, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, and a game that I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm gonna try. Nier. Nier. Something like that. It's a Square Enix game, so picked it up. And I got some free figures and stuff there too. Two of the McDonald's Sonic LCD games. A Pokemon keychain. And four of the Mario Kart DS pullback races. We got Mario, Luigi, Bowser, and Donkey Kong. Then on April 21st I went to a local thrift store, as I told you before they never really have anything, but they've just gotten a lot of books and stuff, so I looked through it and I found a German Final Fantasy X manual, or das offizielle Lösungsbuch, if you will. I can't speak German in all of these videos. And the strategy guide for Eternal Darkness. That's pretty cool, and it's in English, so now I just need to find the game. I paid 50 cents each, so picked up the German one for the pictures, I guess. And then on the 23rd, I found a post on Facebook, a woman who was selling a PS2 with about 30 games, it said. There were no picture or anything, but she lived nearby, so I went over there, and I ended up picking it all up. It turns out the PS2 was nice and pink, yeah, with a few pink controllers and everything. One weird thing was this though, a PS2 to HDMI adapter. Never seen one of those before. Now see, the post said there were about 30 games. In total there were actually 54 games. So for the sake of this video not ending up being 40 minutes long, I'm not going to show you everything. I'll probably just mention a few good ones that were in there. It's all written down in my trusty pickups book. But you'll still be able to read everything that I got in the end slate thing. So some of the good ones were Burnout Revenge, Crash Mind Over Mutant, Destroy All Humans 2, The Getaway, Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, GTA, Lie Liberty City Stories and San Andreas, Just Cause, Free Spyro games, some Need for Speed games, some Rayman games, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, a little bit of everything. But what I consider the best title in this pickup, Clock Tower 3. I've been looking for this game for a long time, so it was awesome finally finding it. I played this a lot with one of my friends when I was younger, so lovely. The whole part in the beginning with, with the I killed her. It's awesome. I killed her. But for the PS2 plus the 54 games, I paid about $20, which is a pretty sweet deal. Then on the 24th, I went to another big flea market, where for 12 bucks I picked up Rise of the Guardians on the DS, the PS2 demo disc that followed with the system, the G-Con 2 competition demo disc, Ratchet Gladiator on the PS2, and then I found GameCube games, which I never do, NFL Street, NBA Courtside 2002, then there were actually four American GameCube titles as well, SSX3, the player's choice version of Star Fox Adventures, which is fucking awesome, well not the game, but having it. And then the two games that I consider probably the best pickups of the month, considering how big of a fan I ever am of this series. American versions of Resident Evil Remake and Resident Evil Zero. It's fucking awesome. As I said, 12 bucks for all of that. Pretty good. After that flea market, I went to a first store where I picked up The Simpsons game on the PS2 and Block Party 20 games on the Wii. Sealed. I don't know why. Paid about one and a half bucks for each. And then the day after that, on the 25th, I went to another flea market where I got five PS2 games. Second Tag Tournament, Ratchet and Clank 3, James Pond, codename Robocard, which is actually a port of the Genesis game. Didn't even know that existed. Dynasty Warriors 2, and last but not least, 
Fantasy Star Universe, Ambition of the Illuminous. I think. Pretty awesome finding a Fantasy Star game. That doesn't happen too often. I think I have one in my collection already. So, so those five were one and a half bucks each. After that flea market, I went to one of the junkyard shops again, where I picked up Rayman, Raving Rabbits, and Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, which sadly doesn't have his manual, but I paid about 75 cents for each of them. And then on April 28th, it was Germany time, and there I bought Tornado, which is a big box PC game. has a little dent here, but it is complete and everything, and I paid one and a half bucks for it. And then I went to a junkyard shop on the way home, and what I got there is probably also one of the best pickups I've had that month. I'll start with the uninteresting stuff. Platinum version of Spyro the Dragon, and Ridge Racer 2 on the PSP. And then to the more interesting stuff. A big box PC game compilation thing with four games in there, and it's sealed. The games are The Machines, Frankenstein, Isle of the Dead, and Operation Combat 2. So. I had to get that. And the next one, another big box PC game, which looks pretty awesome by the way. Albion. If I pronounce that wrong, please tell me. I know that there is a very niche fan base for this game, so sorry if I butchered that. But it's fucking awesome and it's complete. And the last thing I pick up there, a big box Amiga game called Death of Glory. Das Erbe von Morgan. It's a German game and it's only in German, so. Why wouldn't I pick it up? It's an old Amiga game. Big box and everything. And it is as complete as it can get. There's seven floppy disks. There's a manual in here. There's a big ass poster. Everything. That's fucking awesome. So, big box Amiga game. German, but still fucking awesome. And for all of that I paid 75 cents each. You know, the Amiga game, the big box PC games, Spyro, Ridge Racer. 75 cents each. And we're gonna end off boringly. Sorry, I do this very chronological, maybe I shouldn't, but I do. On April 29th, I went to two thrift stores. At the first one, I bought a big box Danish children's game. Once again, I do not feel like trying to pronounce it for you. Isn't it enough that I try to speak German for you? Alright, I'll do it then. Spürzeme for Kölze. Did you get any of that? No? At the second place I went to, platinum version of SSX. I didn't actually have the first SSX, so I thought I might as well pick it up for 75 cents. Oh yeah, the Danish big box PC children's game here was 30 cents, so... And that was everything. Now see, I don't know how long this video has been going on for, but um, if I had to show you all those 54 PS2 games that I got, uh, we would be here until tomorrow. So that's it for this month's pickups video. There was some good stuff in there and flea market season has definitely started. It's probably going to be something with flea market season in the title of this video. But hey, remember to like, comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff. I would love you if you do. And please tell me down in the comments what you have picked up lately. I'd love to know. Make me jealous. So that's it for this video. Goodbye!
my bag is killing me. Ugh. I need some more drink. Ugh. Now I gotta get all these games back in the shelf. <laughs>